Welcome to Buff Zone. We are here, Pat, to talk about week three of the football season. But before we get into CSU week, let's recap UMass real quick. Week two, the Buffs finally get a victory. Uh, you know, it looked pretty good. I mean, 48 to 14 over UMass. Uh, just real quick, your impressions of that game. Well, I think, the, think it's important. Not only did they get the win that they needed, but they got the performance that they needed. Right. You know, this is a UMass team that's uh, playing their first game of the year, and it showed, but CU did to an undermanned opponent mm -hmm. what you're supposed to do to an undermanned opponent. And we haven't seen a lot of that out of this team right. the last few years. So it was great to see all phases of the game. I was particularly impressed how they overcame the adversity at the end of the half with the Laguda targeting ejection uh, down by the goal line. It, it, instead of kind of folding, uh, the Buffs held strong. They got the interception in the end zone. Mm -hmm. They went the other way, got a touchdown at the end of the half, and, and the route was really on from, from that point forward. It was really encouraging to see. Yeah, and that was a key moment because uh, not only did it put the Buffs up 31-14, but then they get the ball to start the second half and went and kicked a field goal. So, like I said, the route was on. Very impressive performance. The the run game uh, racks up 390 yards, most they've had in about 13 years. So I was impressed with that, and I know it's just UMass, but is that something that you feel when you watched it that they can sustain throughout the year? Maybe not 390 every game, but sure. uh, a quality run game. Well, they ran the ball pretty well against Hawaii, too. Let's not overlook that. So it's two games in a row where the running game has really come to the forefront. Uh, been a little bit running back by committee. Atkins obviously has carried the load. But Lindsey had a good game. Carr had a good game. Powell had a great game on Saturday. Yeah. You get all those guys in the mix, it's really going to make it hard on opposing defenses, whomever it is, uh, to control everyone. Yeah, the one thing with that run game, it's been so good, is that they haven't thrown the ball a lot. And I mean, last year was the best throwing season they've ever had in school history. Sefa Lufau, uh, 54 school records. He hasn't looked like that so far this year. And uh, I know some fans have some concern. What do you feel as you uh, watch Sefo play so far this year? Well, I think it was encouraging not to see the mistakes on, on Saturday. Obviously, that's been the Achilles heel of this guy. Mm -hmm. Uh, throughout his tenure here, talented guy, but the ill-timed mistakes has always been the, the crux of the matter. Yeah. If they can run the ball as effectively as they had the first two weeks and they don't need him to throw 50 times a day a, a game, I'm sure Coach Mack and Sefo himself would prefer that every week. Yeah, he had a few throws that uh, probably should have been picked or could have been picked, but they didn't, and uh, overall I thought he was he was pretty good that game. I and, think that balances yeah. out, though. I mean, sometimes you get balls that are picked that, that shouldn't be. They bounce off right. the receiver's hands or whatever. I think at the end of the year, those things kind of balance themselves out, though. Yeah, going forward, though, I, I'm not worried about Suffo. I think he's still going to have a pretty good year. I, I'd agree with that, mm -hmm. and especially if this running game keeps going, it's just going to make life easier for him. Well, and speaking of Seppo having a good game at some point, it could be this week. I mean, Colorado State week, and the Rams are going to be uh, geared up to stop that run with the way, C the way CU's run the ball so far. This might be on Seppo to probably step up this week. We'll have to see how it plays out. Obviously, that's going to have to be a focus for CSU, this mm -hmm. defense this week, after seeing what the Buffs did this past Saturday. This also is going to be a hungry team. You know, much like the Buffs last week, CSU's coming off a game that I'm sure – they feel like they should have right. won. Mm -hmm. uh, you factor that into the rivalry match. Sefo is going to have to be mistake free once again. Hopefully, yeah. that running game is helping him out, and maybe the burden is on his shoulders a little less. Yeah, I, I haven't really had a chance to really watch the Rams a whole lot. Just see some highlights. I don't know about you, um, but just from what you've uh, seen or read of the Rams, what do you think of them so far? Tough team, very dynamic. Uh, you know, again, probably feel like they should have won that game against Minnesota. Yeah. Very good on special teams so far. I know it's a small sample size, right. uh, just a couple games into the season. Uh, they have great kick returners. Their punter has been off to a great start. Don't be surprised if a key special teams play one way or the other turns the tide in this one. Yeah, I agree with you. And you know, this game is funny. I mean, no matter how the first two games have played out on either side, I'm not sure this game is going to look like that for either team because this game is, you know, this rivalry game is so different, and um, it's, it's going to be a fun one. I mean, this game has always been fun, and I think for the first time in a while, I feel like both teams are coming in fairly decent. Yeah. And, and this game's always hard to predict. I mean, yeah. there's been years we think it's going to be high scoring. It winds up being 20 to 17. There's right. some years we think it's going to be 17 to 14, and it's a, a shootout 41 to 38. Yeah. So definitely one where you kind of throw the records out. Uh, definitely one where, you know, maybe the tendencies balance out a little bit mm -hmm. and, and, and something different comes to the forefront. I personally am very happy to see this game. I've done a lot of uh, stuff in the media in, in Denver, covered a lot of big events over the last 12, 14 years. I've never done a CU CSU football game, so I'm yeah. I'm looking very forward to this. Awesome. Well, I have done I've done them several times, all the way back to the Coy Detmer days uh, when they played at Hughes Stadium. So I'm looking forward to this one. This should be fun. Um, what's your thought on this one as far as a final score? You know, whether you know the actual score or just your thought on who's going to win this game. 
Tough one, putting us on the spot, aren't you? I think the Rams come away, though, in a close one. I think it's going to be a big play late, a field goal type game, maybe 24-21, somewhere in that range. Okay. I'm going to go the other way. I like the way the Buffs came out last week, and I think that they're going to um, really uh, you know, use that as momentum going to this one. I like the Buffs, 31-21. All right. Well, we'll see you on Saturday, and we'll see what happens. Sounds good. We'll look forward to seeing you again next week for week four.